During this Star Wars off-season, one of my favorite things to do is to actually research the various explanations by the filmmakers behind Star Wars, specifically though Dave Filoni, and look back at the Clone Wars and his various explanations for episodes and character arcs. Looking back, I've actually found some really interesting commentary on stuff from Revenge of the Sith, along with of course the Clone Wars. And today, I wanted to talk about an interview that Dave Filoni was involved in in IGN. In Season 5 of Star Wars The Clone Wars, after Season Season 4 had just wrapped. In Season 4 of The Clone Wars is one of my favorite arcs in all of Clone Wars history. That being the Inbaran arc that focused on the clone troopers and General Pong Krell. With it ultimately being revealed that Pong Krell was a Jedi traitor. And that it was his intention to actually join Dooku in the Separatist movement. As he actively sabotaged the clones. Even having them turn on one another. In the interview, the question was brought up about how Dogma, the individual that actually executed Pong Krell, would be handled after he executed a Jedi general, and how the Jedi would react to this as well as the Republic. During the answer and explanation for this moment, Dave Filoni actually talks about the moment between Mace Windu and Chancellor Palpatine in Revenge of the Sith, and Mace Windu's decision to arrest Palpatine right there without a trial, and then ultimately execute him without a trial, which is the catalyst of why Anakin ultimately turns to the dark side of the Force in that moment. With Dave Filoni explaining why Mace Windu's decision to execute Palpatine there was actually a massive mistake. Let's go ahead and get into it. First, I'll read the question, then the answer. Before we move on from Umbara, there's one story point that I was curious about. We see Dogma was arrested at the end, but what did Rex and the other clone troopers tell everyone following? What did the Jedi think happened as far as how Krell died? This was Filoni's answer. Well, they definitely reported it as fact. It wouldn't really be in Rex to go over the facts in a way that was exaggerated. They basically would say that General Krell turned out to be a traitor. He was planning on aiding the Separatists and leaving the Republic. He turned on the Jedi Order. We had arrested him and were trying to make a decision about executing him because we thought at that point we were going to lose the base, should we let General Krell get away with it, which could possibly be damaging and detrimental to the future of the Republic as well as Umbara. Before I as the commanding officer could come to that decision, Dogma made that decision for us. In this moment, Rex can't condone his actions through the court system. Basically, Rex can't legally support it openly, and the decision to kill Krell. Personally, he probably might agree with the situation, he can't fault Dogma for what happened, but he can fault him because by the book, he did something wrong, and Dogma is off the book. That is why Dogma, in the end, gets arrested. It's something I've always held about Mace Windu and the Chancellor in Revenge of the Sith. If Mace Windu follows through and executes the Chancellor, it's my belief that Mace gets arrested, even though Palpatine is in fact a Sith Lord. Because what does being a Sith Lord mean anything to the Republic, really? I mean, there hasn't been a Sith Lord for a millennia. So what does that mean to someone? Oh, I'm sorry Mace, you're upset that someone, this fictitious person that you call a Sith, was running the Republic and making the trains get to the station on time? I don't understand the problem. So that's why I think Mace goes into that room and says, we're here to arrest you. But then, when he realizes just how powerful Palpatine really is, he's going to have to make the fall on this and make that one decision that turns out to be pretty costly in the end. The decision to execute Palpatine. I find this explanation to be super intriguing and really revealing, as well as gives us some input into sort of the behind the scenes stuff in Mace Windu's mind. Again according to Dave Filoni, Mace Windu realizing in this moment that he will be arrested just as Dogma was arrested for executing General Krell. The situations very much mirror one another. The idea that Mace Windu knew that he would be arrested if he actually executed Palpatine is really interesting, and not something that I've heard or really thought about before. The the idea that Mace Windu, his original intention, is to of course arrest Palpatine and have him stand trial among the Senate. But over the course of the duel, he realizes, again, as Dave Filoni says, just how powerful Palpatine is. In multiple facets, that is. He controls the Senate and the courts, as Mace Windu explains. But more than this, Mace Windu doesn't realize just how skilled Palpatine is with both the Force as well as with the lightsaber until the two of them engage in their heated duel. And it's only after this that Mace Windu resolves to kill Palpatine, realizing that if he does kill Palpatine, he will be taken 
taken into custody, and he's willing to make that commitment and take the fall for ending the Sith, even though he realizes he'll be condemned for it, and go down essentially as an assassin. He's literally willing to jeopardize the fate of the Jedi and the Republic to kill Palpatine in this moment, just as Dogma was willing to make the sacrifice to kill General Krell in the Clone Wars. But what are your guys' thoughts on this, and Dave Filoni's comments on this? Do you think that this was actually a major mistake on behalf of Mace Windu? The idea of taking the law within his own hands, and executing Palpatine without a proper trial? Or are you with Mace Windu, and would you too be willing to take the fall in order to secure peace in the future? I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. According to my analytics, a lot of you guys that watch the channel aren't actually subscribed yet, so if you've been looking for a place to stay up to date with everything Star Wars related, you've found it. And if you want to see more, force choke that subscribe button and gain the high ground. If you're interested in getting a shout out on the channel, check out my Patreon link in the description down below, as that's one of the rewards for a certain tier. As always, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. May the force be with you, and have a great day.